guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel you can see the weather i get like one weather this needs coffee and a biscuit and a store to go with it so we're making lemon flavored sandwich cookies lemon flavored sandwich biscuits whatever you call them let's go and these are pretty pretty simple but they're very impressive so all you're gonna need is 230 grams of flour, sift that in, 85 grams of icing sugar. I'm gonna write the recipe down below in the description box, okay? And then I'm just sifting it in here, making it rain or snow, right? Get snow, say I get, get the snows. Oh no, oh no. No, I messed up. I was supposed to start with creaming the butter and the icing sugar. Get a whisk or your electric mixer. Get it looking light in color. This, it's not butter, I'm using margarine. This is what I was trying to achieve. You can see the texture has changed and the color is a bit lighter. So I guess we're adding this into this. A scraper is your best friend. Like, if this kitchen gets gadgets, I can advise you to buy a scraper, a sifter, and if you love love baking, a kitchen scale is worth buying because it doesn't get any more accurate than that. So I'm just gonna combine it. I forgot about the drop of vanilla. You know I'm made of vanilla. For I remember when I made these, my mom enjoyed these. And she kept talking about them way after I first developed the recipe. I'm like, I miss those lemon biscuits you made. So once you have it to this texture, you're gonna need some parchment paper, like two bit, two bits, girl, two bits of parchment. Then plop your dough onto there on one parchment paper. Bring it together like that. Use the other parchment paper on top and then we're gonna roll it out in between these parchment papers just so that it doesn't stick to this because remember it's all margarine and flour that's keeping it together so roll it out and then you're trying to achieve about a centimeter half a centimeter thickness because remember these are sandwich cookies so you don't want them to be too thin because you're gonna have two sides on so half a centimeter thickness I make sure that I spin it around when I'm rolling out because remember you have one hand that's dominant which is the hand that you use mostly I'm right-handed so my right hand is more dominant so usually you'll find out that when you roll things out oh, your most dominant side gets more rolled out than the other side so I like to turn it around here so I like to turn around to where the right side goes to the left and vice versa just a pro tip there we have it with nice half a centimeter thickness right there I'm gonna place this in the freezer so it sets so that it's easier to cut out when you're using your cookie cutter and then meanwhile preheat preheat your oven a very important step please preheat your oven at 180 degrees so yeah this goes in the freezer ideally put it on a baking tray so that it stays nice and flat and straight it didn't take long it's been about 10 minutes cutting it using a cookie cutter but before i bought these cookie cutters i had i would use champagne flute which is like the perfect size for like these sandwich cookies and now i'm just cutting them and look they come out in the mold this is how thick they are let me show you the cookie cutter does it perfectly so i'm gonna have to do two because there's no exact size so the cookie cutter stays inside and i just press it in Pull it out. Perfect. Here they are. Now I'm going to place them in the oven and bake them for about between 13 and 15 minutes. This all depends on your oven. So check on them until they are light brown. Now with this leftover dough, you're going to wait for it to soften a bit and then bring it together, roll it out and repeat the process. First batch is out. Nice and lightly brown. I'm gonna place them on a cooling rack. It comes out a bit soft, don't worry, it will set once it cools down. 
and then repeat the process get the other batch in the oven and now you're probably wondering but mono C where's the lemon flavor you said lemon sandwich cookie it's coming right now with the filling so what you're gonna need is 50 grams of softened margarine it's just a little bit being in 160 grams of icing sugar you can serve this if you're scared and don't wanna live your life on the edge like i do the other batch of cookies is done let me get it out nearly burnt it so close a tablespoon of lemon juice trying to not get the pip in the icing and for the yellow color i'm gonna use turmeric but you can use yellow food coloring just a sprinkling of turmeric not a lot and then vanilla about half it okay the recipe will be down below sprinkling of sea salt what salt does in sweet things is that it makes the flavor a bit more complex. It takes away from a bit of the harsh sweetness. I'm gonna use my spatula to bring that together. Oh my gosh, this butter is not as soft as I want it to be. I'm gonna melt it in the oven. Don't try that at home, guys. Don't be like me. I'm gonna need to do that for a bit longer. We just having fun in the kitchen. You <laughs> forgot about it. What's going on? It's coming together like that. I'm just trying to get rid of any lumps that there could be. Can you see how beautiful the yellow color is from the turmeric? Baby! This is what it will be looking like. A nice pretty yellow. I hope it comes through on camera. I'm gonna wait for the cookies to cool down completely, completely, fully cool. Please follow the recipe as I'm saying it. Completely cool before I ice it because otherwise the butter is just gonna melt the margarine because it's nice and cold my cookies have Cooled down nicely and I've put them in pairs. That's the ones that fit now. I'm gonna add my filling to it It's just about half a teaspoon's worth of filling Sandwich why are people so loud? Sandwich them together Look. And there we have all our cookies, sandwich cookies done. I'm gonna take one for a taste. Mm. Give me some coffee. This is some lemon cream deliciousness. Thank you for joining me making these delicious lemon cream sandwich cookies. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.